Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Hayabusa tutorial. I know you guys have been waiting for a new one, and I hope this video will help you get better in any situation in game. But before we started, I would like to do a skin giveaway worth of 599 diamonds. There is only going to be one winner. All you have to do is drop a like on this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And after a week, I'll be choosing a winner through randomly picker. Good luck guys! So let's start off the build. This is the build that I use most of the time in any situation and I've been using this build since then and it works really good. And just to let you guys know, for the boots it's very situational, you can't just use the same build every single game, you gotta depend on the enemy comp. So if the enemy have the hero that can slow you down, make sure you go for tough boots to reduce the slow by 30% guys alright? And for warrior boots, it's against really high physical damage, so that's when you build this item. It's really good. And the last one is sweep boots. You can build this item whenever you're comfortable playing aggressive. And this item gives you attack speed, which is really good and helps you a lot faster to get an easy kill. Since you already know how to use his passive and skills, let me teach you guys what to do and not to do. And I think this is one of the common mistakes that I see to all the Hayabusa players out there. You gotta stop doing this. You're probably a Zero Senpai fan who keep doing this and build Bloodless. I'm telling you guys, you gotta stop doing this. Use the 3 Shadow to escape, not to do freestyle like a retard, alright? So, looking at their lineup here, they have really high physical damage. So I decided to go for Warrior Boots instead of Sweet Boots. So as you guys can see, I always start the buff because it's always good to start buff the opposite way of the turtle guys because after getting buff, I can rotate close to the turtle and I don't have to rotate bottom lane but it works, it works both ways but it really depends on your rotation If you're really close to the enemy, use the first skill first, then use the second skill. As soon as I saw that Saber, I know I could burst him down easily. So don't be afraid to go against Saber. I know he's level 4 but you know, high boost on in the early game. As you guys can see here, Saber just ulted as support instead of me as a jungler. So in this kind of situation, don't be scared to fight the enemy, knowing you have the advantage to fight them. And one more thing, if you notice the Esmeralda, she went to clear lane first instead of helping us out. This kind of situation, always try to help when there's a team fight going on. Pro tips guys, if you have this kind of lead, 
try to steal enemies' jungle creeps so their hyper won't be able to farm. As you guys can see here, we're just focused on getting objectives now instead of kills. Cause this is how you win the game. Go for objectives, then kill us guys, alright? Always. And that's all you have to learn in this video. I just want to say thank you guys and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I love you guys.